0.04 acres of land from Willow Run Community Schools located on North Harris for the amount of $140,000 plus closing costs. Roll call. Trustee Stewart. Aye. Trustee Myers. Aye. Trustee Thomas. Aye. I will aye, Mr. President. Aye. Motion carries. <clears throat> Approval of appointment high school math teacher. Mr. President, I move that the Willowrun Board of Education accept the recommendation of the superintendent to appoint Jessica Kruger as high school math teacher, annual salary of $33,887, according to the WREA salary schedule, bachelor level zero, effective for the 2012-2013 school year. Support. It has been moved and supported that the Willowrun Board of Education accept the recommendation of your superintendent to appoint Jessica Kruger as high school math teacher, annual salary of $33,887, according to the WREA salary schedule, bachelor level zero, effective for the 2012-2013 school year. Roll call. Trustee Myers. Aye. Trustee Stewart. Aye. Trustee Thomas. Aye. I vote aye, Mr. President. Aye, motion carries. Congratulations, and we'd like to say Thank you.
yes, the media refuses to step foot inside our, our walls to find out firsthand what a wonderful job most of our staff does. The media then instead half-heartedly plagiarizes other reporters' works and then in what appears to make it look like their own work changes the facts that were originally reported by the real reporter who took the time to show up at our meetings and interview the board and other staff members to get the most correct information out to the public. Rachel Marshall has done has been doing a very good job of factual reporting. The other media that use her work to attempt to derive their work, you should be ashamed of yourself. The coverage by Rachel and subsequent reporting in the Ypsilanti Courier does not state that we will be closing the high school. It does say that we may have to look into it. Danielle Arndt's headline that says we are planning on closing the high school is very inaccurate. To both Danielle and Rachel, please come in and cover us. Come out and see how despite our struggles, our students are making positive gains. See how our staff is working with us to work through these tough times. That not just Willow Run is being attacked by the state of Michigan as a whole is working and the entire country is truly struggling to get through. Please don't make these times tougher by misleading our citizens and your readers. Sure, we are the smallest district on this side of the county, but that does not mean we are the most troubled. Look around and see that all five entities, Lincoln, Ben Buren, Willow Run, Ipsy, and the Charters, that service this area are struggling with the same issues and start to report on the financial issues that Washington County districts are starting to acknowledge. And then maybe you should ask the state why they appear to be deliberately underfunding everybody, including the elite districts that get about $10,000 per student instead of the state norm of about $7,000. I charge you, the reporters, with helping us making sure that the public knows the real challenges faced by traditional public schools. And included in it, I do have the, uh, the headline that's correctly written by Rachel and rewritten, slanted by Danielle. Do you have a copy of this? Uh, not yet, but I, I will. Any other board comments? Motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Who would not support to adjourn this meeting at 8.06? Have a good night, good weekend. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.